These are rice noodles, one of the most common noodle varieties here in Vietnam. Here they have so many ways to prepare this incredible ingredient and it is all delicious. That's so good. Welcome to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, the center for all of Vietnamese cuisine. Today, we are pairing bún with this. And this is breakfast for a buck. Come on. My name is Chak Kubinoff, I'm a chef in Vietnam, and today we're gonna get fish soup for breakfast. Yep. Fish for breakfast may not be something you're used to, but in Vietnam, they don't discriminate. If they move, they eat it for every meal possible. Today we're gonna try two different kinds of fish soup. Both are gonna be served with rice noodle or bún. One is from the central region and one is gonna be from the north. Both will be served with fish and fish cake. Even though the name is similar, the dish is completely different. Let's get our first bowl over here. All right, so the first style we're gonna get is bún chà cá. Bún is ground rice noodle, chà cá is fish cake, and it comes from the Nha Trang region. So this is from like central Vietnam, from the beach area. Let's go try a bowl. The key to the perfect Nha Trang style bún chà cá is the light broth. Perfectly blanched round rice noodles topped with fish cake, fish fillet, green onion, and fish sauce. Component, more sweet and sour fish sauce and side vegetable. This is an authentic Nha Trang bowl right here in the central of Saigon. Well, it's early again. Pretty darn close to what I've seen in Nha Trang style. You can see that the broth is very light and very simple. And then it has the fish cake and also some fish fillet too, either tuna or mackerel. And in Nha Trang, they always serve the vegetable as shredded lettuce, bean sprout, and some herbs. So this is a very, very typical Nha Trang style bowl. Let's try it. Good broth. So the broth is really nice and light, and it's a little bit sweeter than it would be in Nha Trang, because Saigon likes it sweeter. This is good. All right, to put the vegetable in. All right. Mm. I think I'm gonna do a little extra chili. This isn't that spicy though. Typically I find this dish to be a little bit on the boring side, but this is pretty good and kind of perfect for me right now. It's super early and I'm tired. It's just very simple and subtle. But I like the sweetness that this has. Let's see what this fish is like. And it's mackerel, I think. Nha Trang is famous for its fish cake. This particular fish cake is fried, but there's so many different kinds and so many different ways that it's cooked. So this style's a little bit thicker, thicker than they do in the North. Spongy, a little chewy. That's a good one. This really is just like Nha Trang. You like bún cá? No, not <laughs> Not everybody loves it. My wife loves it though. And yeah, trying every time we go out, she wants to eat this, I never want to eat it. But uh, maybe I'm developing the taste for it. And it's nice in the vegetable, they have spearmint too. Or what is that? I think it's hong loi. It adds a really nice herbaceousness to it. it kind of wakes up the broth every few bites. Now it's spicy, wow. Okay, now I'm awake. We're definitely spicy now. build. <clears throat> I gotta say it's a good breakfast. I never really enjoyed this for breakfast before, but this is hitting the spot. Well, that was quick. Let's go get something else. And I think the hang I die on. Yeah, it's really good. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, so I'm a little bit full after that. We got to get a little walk on so I can get hungry again. Our next spot is right there. Not the farthest walk, but it'll work. So I get tons of questions on TikTok and YouTube and everywhere. If you have a question, you should ask me because I'll answer it. And Jay asked, besides Vietnamese cuisine, what other cuisines do I like? Jay, I like everything. All food is good. Every cuisine is good. Everybody does interesting things with interesting ingredients and I want to try it all. All right, that was far enough. I'm hungry. Let's go eat. All right, let's get our next bowl. Here we're gonna get bún cá cai. Bún is round rice noodle again, cá is fish, and cai is spicy. So this is from the Haiphong region. This is from the north, let's go try it. After that long walk, I'm hungry. One thing I love about northern Vietnamese food is they use a ton of dill. This dish is a great example of that. Topped with a special fish cake, fried fish, chili paste, green onions, and it's ready to pour the spicy tomato broth on top. Everything is fried super crispy here, so when it goes in the broth, it's still very crunchy to give you that full high foam food experience. I'm very hungry, I'm very excited. Let's eat this thing. 
So this is Bun Kakai. I've never tried this before. I'm really excited about it. Usually in the north there's a lot more dill use and I can smell that right away and I love dill. So I'm pumped. It's interesting. There's like a tomato sauce to it. Tons of green onion, tons of dill, the fish cake, a fried fish. This looks so good to me. I try the broth. She asked me how spicy I want it. I just said normal. Lots of tomato, lots of dill. A little bit of heat, not bad. That's good. We can add the vegetable, shredded lettuce and shiso, which is kind of typical. And then it has some pickled bamboo on the side, which is awesome, I love that. And that's good, and a little spicy. Also, anytime I think of the North or Haiphong, I think of a certain type of chili sauce that they do have here, which is kind of like a funky, garlicky sauce. Oh, hers is different, that's good. The spice comes a little later. There's a little bit of funk to it, it's kind of chunky. It's like tomato, garlicky, a little funk, very good. This is so my style right now. Mm. I know everybody knows pho, which of course originates from Northern Vietnam, but I think other soups in Northern Vietnam are underrated and unknown. The most famous soup out of Hai Phong is called Man Da Kuo, which is amazing. We'll do that another day. This one I've never heard of, but this should be more popular. It's excellent. All right, let's put some of this chili sauce inside too, because it's not that spicy. Now with that chili sauce too, it's getting more interesting and they serve it with some calamansi so I can get a little bit more citrus. This is an excellent bowl now. I'm gonna try the fish cake. Usually the fish cakes from uh, High Farmer from the North, I love them because they're super thin and they usually have dill in them too. Mm. It's very chewy in the best way possible. This is an excellent bowl. All right, I'm gonna put the uh, bamboo inside. I have seen a lot of pickled bamboo in northern dishes. I love it. It's sour and spicy, a little bit crunchy, has a nice texture. And another thing in northern soups is the fish is fried so crispy, it holds its texture in the broth. I'm definitely getting this again. Mm. This is some artichoke tea, or artichoke juice or drink, I don't know what she said. I've never seen it red before too. It's a little bit sour. I forget the name of that flower. But it's got flour in it. See if I can eat the flour, I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, I remember now, I think it's hibiscus. I think it's hibiscus tea. Sweet, sour, and refreshing. Yeah, I totally dig this. I definitely have to go to Haiphong to try it uh, in its hometown. This one's extra sour, it's so good. And I needed it. All right, both of those soups kicked butt. And there's so many different kinds of fish soups in Vietnam. Today, we just wanted to focus on the two with rice noodle, even though there's more, we'll show you those later. If I have to pick a favorite, which is super hard, usually I would always pick the Northern style because I just like that right away. Although this Southern style, Bun Chia Kha, it was the best I've had, I think. If you tend to prefer pho, you probably will like the Bun Chia Kha from Nha Trang. If you tend to prefer Bun Bo Hue, you probably will like the Bun Chia Kha from Hai Phong. To me, I'm a Bun Bo Hue guy every day, all day, so I think the Bun Chia Kha is for me. But uh, we'll try more. I just made a video about Bun Tien Nung and Bun Chia, like a grilled pork noodle. So if you haven't seen that, it's right here. You should probably check that out next. See ya. Oh, subscribe too, and like it. Thanks.